They've been fighting abroad, they've been in active service, they come home from the military and quite a lot of them end up with no place to go, no jobs and a lot of mental health problems and a lot of them end up becoming homeless and some of them are homeless right now on the streets of Manchester city centre and probably in Salford as well. So those people have done a job thinking that they're serving Queen and Country but actually they've ended up going to fight illegal wars paid for by our taxes and our money and then when they've come back from there they haven't had any support from the government or the councils. So when I heard David Cameron talking about them I felt like I should stick up for them. And I think after I'd started saying that I felt like I wanted to stick up for everyone because all these posh people in positions of power over us whether that's in the government or the local council, they're not looking after our interests. We're having all these problems with benefit sanctions and bedroom tax. Why isn't there a tax on all the extra bedrooms at Buckingham Palace instead? Because they can afford to pay it. I know most of us can't afford the demands that the government is putting on us. And even if you're in work, nowadays the money just doesn't go as far as it used to because everything costs more and they always want more back from us but we're not earning any more. People are really struggling and I just want, I just think it's time for change. How long are we going to let people who've never lived around here, they've never lived it, the type of lives we're living, they're trying to tell us that they know how to run our lives better than we do. I don't think they're right. I don't think they do know better. It's really easy for them to tell us what to do when they're sitting in a privileged place in Westminster. So we need to start making the changes for ourselves because we can't trust them. They're not working in our best interests. So the people of Salford, we can come together today. Here's a place to, to kind of meet up together. The reality party is the Salford people. You can vote for them and they might be able to make changes on our behalf and listen to our views. But today you can come over and you can talk to people from the reality party and let them know how you feel about government or about things that are happening locally and get your voice heard it's got to be worth a try because for sure David Cameron, he's not listening. He wants your money and he wants your life, but he's not prepared to give anything back. Come and have a chat to us if you want to find out a bit more about what we can do. Thanks. Thank you, Victoria.